Um, so when I went to college, I, I, I didn't know what I wanted to do. And I thought I was going to go into law, but I ended up not liking it. Um, but I liked math. It was just easy. You know, it was, it was just, it was, it was rules based, you know, you just apply the rules and you get what you get. Um, and I was my, my freshman year, I was, um, struggling in a statistics class. And I figured out that if I rewrote the, um, the questions in the form of baseball that I can make the statistics make sense. It's kind of a weird way to think, think about it. And in the process of doing that, I figured out that all the bookies lines were wrong as they figured out how to gamble between different teams. And so it kind of became a project of mine to figure out, well, how much are the lines off and what would be the betting opportunities? So myself and a couple buddies, you know, we kind of put in a little bit of money and, um, you know, we didn't really need jobs in college because it worked out pretty well. But, you know, then then later, years later, you know, it, it kind of ended up where, you know, Moneyball came out. And well, all that was based off of a guy. Um, and, you know, of course, right now I'm trying to remember his name, but he wrote something called the Baseball Astra Ab Abstract. It was Bill James. When I was a kid, as I remember telling you, selling baseball cards back and forth. Well, we used to read Bill James's baseball abstract and all the saber metrics and so on and so forth would roll through that. So, um, so in college, it was really kind of, you know, I was setting myself up for my career, which right after college, I would end up getting into the mathematics side of finance, starting on the mortgage side, believe it or not. And, um, and that was kind of how it, how it just, it just happened.